Okay, so you just picked one of these bad boys up and you want to know what are the best settings to have your games running at a cool 120 frames per second and or 60 frames per second, um, whichever one you prefer anyways. Uh, long story short, let's start out by jumping right into the deep stuff here. Boom, hit that button right over here, which is going to be your command center. Now, I want you guys to understand this is your best friend. Okay, so what I run my Asus ROG Ally really at all the time is Turbo Operating Mode and AMD RSR on because I usually play with the wire connected to give me that performance. I do want to utilize and use this thing to its full potential and that's why I play with the wire. But you may be different, it'll still run with a frame drop of like maybe let's say three to five if you're not connecting the uh, wire but anyway so let's uh, let's dive in into here so first thing is first resolution is 1080p i like to play at a full resolution and i guarantee that you do too so that's the first thing that you're going to want to set set amd rsr on to give you that crisper cleaner look on these bad boy but let's scroll all the way to the top now I want to show you that there's three different settings, silent, performance, and turbo, okay? So silent is when you're just browsing the web, changing some files around, deleting files, watching certain things. That's what you use silent mode for, okay? So, you know, a little tip right here. If you're not gaming, don't use turbo mode. Just use the silent mode because it'll work perfectly fine. Now, performance mode, I'd say, is when you may be um, using some editing software or, you know, browsing the web and have a lot of tabs open. Performance mode is, is sort of like in the middle. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it's 25 watts or 15 watts, my bad, instead of running at, uh, I believe, 10 watts with the silent mode and I think it's 25 watts with the turbo mode but performance mode meets you right in the middle so if you don't need a lot of uh, a lot of performance don't run it at turbo and if you're uh, needing a little more performance you're noticing a little bit of lag in silent mode um, or the device is running a little slower than usual kick it up a notch to performance mode now last but not least is turbo mode you're gonna be running at 25 watts and this thing runs flawlessly it runs exactly like a windows 11 computer honestly like a gaming laptop um right over here is going to be gamepad which is your control mode um how you control the actual device desktop mode and also auto but auto doesn't really work that well maybe they need to update it so let's run it in desktop mode for now and i just want to show you that's what desktop mode does here um, let's go to game profiles as well. I want to also allow you to see game profiles. So what it what is game profiles? Now game profiles is basically key binding these controls right over here up top on the back to an actual controller for certain games. Okay, and as well as for desktop, you can maybe, if you want to move the mouse with this instead of this, you can do that. Really want you to guys to um, utilize that feature because it could help you out when you're playing games like Call of Duty and or Grand Theft Auto V, you know, or Red Dead or Hitman, you know, all these different types of games, even Need for Speed or Forza. So let's go back over here. And I want to show you how I got to here, right over here. So let's click X. I want to, I want to actually explain to you what that app is. Um, so that's Armory Crate. We're going to open it up. It's usually at the bottom here. And it puts all your games, in, or really what you want, the games that you play the most, you know, you can add or delete certain ones in this little section. It doesn't matter if it's on Battle.net, um, on Steam, on Rockstar Launcher, all those. Let's go to Settings over here. And this is where things get a little more um, technical. No, I'm just playing. It's actually pretty straightforward. But you can add stuff to your command center over here. So if you want to add, um, let's say, let's see, if you want to add your game library or a game visual, all that type of stuff. Um, so let's go to back here. And I want to emphasize game visual. So 
when I was playing Grand Theft Auto, um, I was running it at RPG just because it's easier for the viewers to see the screen. Um, when I'm playing Call of Duty or I'm just by myself, I usually running at uh, run it at racing because the the graphics are really amazing. Um, and you know FPS, you got Cinema Mode, I Care, Vivid. But racing is one of my favorites. But for the video purpose, we're going to run it at RPG mode so you guys can see the screen. Lighting is the RGB lighting around the, th around the stick. If you want it to be like a breathing, um, you want it to be a strobing, a color cycle. Usually I just keep it on the color cycle. Um, there's Aura Sync as well. Uh, let's go to the Aura Sync and show you here. Um, set device on so we can performance mode basically these will optimize the smoothness of your lightning effects but will increase the cpu usage doesn't matter it's not too bad let's go ahead and select all set device lighting oop i just clicked that on my bad here this will turn on the rgb lighting for you but let's go to operating mode. This is the beefy stuff right here. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is what I'm running it at. So let's go ahead and click on op uh, operating mode. Windows is a mode. Silent is a mode. Performance and turbo. Windows is pretty good. So if you're just you know browsing the web also and stuff like that, you know doing your desktop duties that one's pretty good but manual is where you can up the wattage on the CPU you can allow the fans to run however you want at certain uh, Celsius degrees at certain speeds um, and you can have multiple manual modes um, another thing here oop, another thing here is you can see the stats now the cool thing about this device is it has 8 gigabytes of RAM which is quite phenomenal you can see what um, some of the uh, usage and stuff temperatures and so if you're running games that are requiring a lot maybe try not to run them um, eco assist uh, is pretty cool gpu settings i have mine set to eight gigabytes because i play some of the games like grand theft auto which require me to use uh more i'd say i get smoother frame i get smoother fps on uh, eight gigabytes rather than the four that it, it allows you to do um, but let's go back to turbo mode and um, that's really it there's also actually one last thing that I want to show you uh, to have this running at its peak performance let's go to settings over here let's go down to gaming okay 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 and I run my PC in game mode um, that just I guess it boosts the FPS a little bit and then I always at the last the end of the night I always hit that nice refresh button but that is uh, really it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. This is the Asus ROG Ally. Show you guys the back over here. But this is it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next one.